be doing a good video on my survival kit. It's just a Yugoslavian mess kit minus the inside candy and a small cup. So a little pouch on the side there for to put my folding saw in. Put a plate put the Mora in the silverware spot and it It's actually pretty good. But before I start, this tarp that I'm showing it on, it's a little cheap tarp that I got from I believe it was Home Depot. And yes, they do sell tarps. It's more of a lawn gra lawn grass cutting cover so it doesn't stink up the place. They take it away after you're done. But uh it was two for eight bucks, I believe. I wanted to test it out. So I left it over the winter out here in the woods. Here in Minnesota, winters are very long, very hard. But uh so as you can see this part held up very well. Actually most of it did. But I haven't come back since start of football season last year. It's April now, so well since I've been gone. Somebody came and took a knife to my tarp. I've got no idea who it is, but they just cut big holes in it. Two very long slashes. And I know they're not, they didn't rip from natural causes because uh, I, want, I wanted to see for myself. So, you see that little bit? I tried very hard. It's very hard to rip. This was made to hold grass or wood or whatever you wanted to carry. So it can be thrown into the trash. That's what happens. I ripped it a quarter of an inch. And that took a little bit of doing. And as you can see, it's very jagged. But those are clean. Yeah. Some retard took a knife to my tarp. So. That just makes me mad. But, other than that, life's good. Because I've got another one exactly like it sitting in my bag. So, here it is. Take this out. First off, I've got my Mora 612 right there on the other side. My folding saw. On this side, I decided to keep the fork, knife, and spoon simply because I didn't want it cluttering up my desk. Now, as for the actual kit itself, it's a canvas bag. Has been waxed before, but before I got it. Now, that right there is not waterproof, but it does strain water, so you can use it as a filter to filter out sand, gravel, twigs, leaves, whatever you want. All right, it's pretty cool. Now the kit itself. As you can see, it's rectangular. It's a uh, seven by three by five. Seven inches tall, three inches deep, five inches wide, like that. Uh, it's got a pot. That's this very tough pot. And a plastic lid slash bowl held together by that connecting rod, I guess. Take it open it takes a little bit to open it and uh, inside as you see I've got an entire kit it's, uh, my fire steel custom handled fire steel a lot of use out of this uh, flashlight very bright four LED bulbs at the top doesn't look very bright but it's midday switch it it goes to there one more time, both, and off. I've got a lighter, do twine for cordage, and of course tinder. Hold on. Never leave home without a compass. Big spool of wire, because I can afford to put it in there. Fishing and sewing kit. This is tapestry and furniture thread. This is very tough stuff. I think you could use this as small gauge fishing line if you wanted to small roll of duct tape dump it out you're left with a pot very stout pot so yeah but that's not the end of it and a lid and a bowl I've got my that's a poncho and I put it in there like a uh, as a, like a stopper underneath there I've got a lens magnifying lens 
first aid kit, just bandages, that's all. So it's not really a complete first aid kit. A book of matches and eight tea candles because I can afford to put it in there. A whole bunch of cotton balls, nothing else. So, as you can see, this kit is extremely roomy. And if I wanted to, I could fit even more stuff in here in the lid. For example, I put the duct tape right there. Um, and of course, the lens. Um, I can put the lighter in here. Duct tape's on there so it doesn't come up. Uh, what else could I put in there? I think that's about it. Put the bandages right there. Stick that in there. Push it down because it acts as a stopper. And how you pack the main part. Start with fishing kit right there on the side. Flashlight fits neatly into the side. Then uh, your wire. Sorry, your wire goes there. Compass goes right there. Oh wait, wait, sorry. <laughs> Jute twine goes in first. Spool of thread. That goes right there. Get that out of the way. Compass goes there. I know it doesn't look exactly the same as when I first packed it. That's the beauty of this. You don't have to pack it the same every time. Because this is, even though it's a small kit, it is not a very small kit. So you can pack everything you need in here. Got shelter, fire, got water filtration, water purification, navigation, means of procuring food through the wire for snares. And here's the kicker. With the extra room, whenever I take out, whenever I take this out, I put my Swiss Army knife in there, the one with the saw. So that gives you wood processing as well, because the saw can get a pretty good, pretty good amount of work done. So that's the kit, and all fits neatly in there. There you go. Neatly in there. That goes in the pouch. Thanks for watching. This is the Woodsman Croman with Intuitive Survival. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Now a shot of the woods.